we are in the first Sunday of Lent, the church asks us to reflect on the temptation of Jesus and thereafter the mission of Jesus. None of us in this life are free from temptations. Even Jesus was not spared or exempted from being tempted. Thus St. Paul in the letter to Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 rightly says, we have a high priest who has been tempted in every way that we are, though he is without sin. The temptation of Lord Jesus is marked by three aspects of human urge namely food essential for a life on earth or for earthly existence. The second temptation is to show off for a recognition and to be something great in the eyes of people. And this is a temptation where most of the human beings suffer. And the third temptation is for power. If God loves you, Throw yourself down. His angels will lift you up in their hands. How dare you put God to the test? If you will bow down and worship me, I will give you the whole world. The 
story of Jesus temptation speaks of two powers one is the power of God and second the power of Satan God says take my love to people show them that God really loves people and to share the love and the forgiveness of God with one another even unto death on the contrary Satan says to use the power to destroy to win the world with power and bloodshed to go behind recognition to make people to bow to you however Jesus preferred naturally the reign of love to the reign of force my dear friends when we are tempted let us remember that we are not alone the Lord himself was tempted before us instead we need to accept the challenge because Jesus has overcome everything and this Lenten season reminds us to take our Christian commitment seriously and to resolve to begin anew let us use this time of Lent to prepare ourselves worthily for that celebration of Easter let our fasting our abstinence bring us closer to God and to our fellow men let us be faithful in discharging our Christian duties that we promised through our parents and godparents to be faithful and to observe our Christian duties towards God and towards our brothers and sisters so the message of Lent would not consist in mere words or in mere works of sacrifice rather we can make use of this Lent in following the call of God in faith in going closer to God and to one another in love and trust